In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear bumper on this Ford F-150. Now the rear bumper is actually several pieces. It consists of three different items. The corner pieces, which are these chrome caps basically, and then the step pad. All three of these create the bumper assembly. Now if you need to replace individual components, you can obviously take them apart from each other and just replace that part. But the bumper assembly is the entire piece, well, three of them together. So. Let's get started. Let's start by disconnecting the license plate light bulbs. That way the harness is out of our way. If you reach up in here, you can press on the little locking tab, pull this connector out. A lot of times it'll be stuck from sand buildup in there. So if it is, just wiggle it back and forth until it pops out and do the same to the other one. There are two, one on each side of the license plate. On each side of the bumper, all you have to disconnect is the two 10 millimeter bolts, one on the bottom and one on the top that holds the chrome part of the bumper, the corner piece, onto the uh, impact absorber slash tow hitch receiver here. And uh, like I said, they're 10 millimeter in size. So take this one out. And the one at the top. There it is. On the other side of this top bolt that we just undid, there will be another one, a little bit more difficult to reach. Definitely need a swivel and extension for this one. But once you get to it, remove it. It's also a 10 millimeter, just like the other ones. Now do the same to the other side, take off all three bolts. Now the two corner pieces of the bumper are unbolted. Nothing is holding this on anymore, but these two push clips here, or push pins, are part of the step pad, and those have to pop off of this bracket, and that's all that's holding this in place right now. So put some pressure on it. The easiest way to get these out without breaking them is to squeeze them with some needle nose pliers, or, well, regular pliers, whatever you have, and push up at the same time. And there we go. And you can take the corner pieces, slide them off. So it's gonna take a little bit of maneuvering back and forth. And the other side. And there's your bumper assembly. So bring this in carefully. Make sure you don't damage the paint on the truck. And it's basically impossible to see these clips here, but you're going to have to feel for them. Push it in. They'll fall into place. Oh, there we go. Those just locked in. So I know that it's locked in and secured here. Let's put these bolts back in. A lot of times these rust, so I'll replace them if necessary. I like to start them all in before I tighten them up. That way I know it's all lined up and ready to go. So these are the two easy to reach ones. And last one. Now with all of them started, let's snug them all up. For the bottom one, as I tighten, I'm gonna push the bumper in. And at this point, the top one should be perfectly lined up. So just go ahead and tighten it. And of course, if you haven't already, do the same to the other side. Don't forget to connect the license plate light bulbs. Make sure they click, do this on both sides. So there you have it, repair is done. I hope this video was helpful. If you have anything to say, leave it in the comment section below. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you can stay up to date with all of our future content. Thanks for watching.